this lesson I'm going to show you how to do curve editing in the program and where to get to the curve edit tools. So the first thing we need to do is create a shape. So I'll just create a circle here and this is a power shape. This isn't actually uh, a curve shape so to speak. So what I need to do is convert this to curves. Now I can do that coming up to this menu up here, the curves menu. I can click convert to curves or alternatively I can come over to this button here, convert to curves and now that's a curve shape. That's no longer a power shape, it's just uh, curves and if I come up to this tool up here, Node Editing, I can click on that Node Edit tool and you can now see that I've got the corner nodes here. Now if I move those nodes around you can see that's just a standard curve shape now. Okay, when I'm in Node Edit mode you'll see all these tools in the second row up here. There's a lot of um, Node Editing tools up here and Curve Editing tools. For example, you've got the connectors and replace section. Some of these have got their own lessons. I'll talk about some of these in this lesson. So since we've now got this circle here, what I'm going to do is take a duplicate of it. So I'll come up here and I'll click on Duplicate Selected. And I get a perfect copy on top of the other one. So I now have two circles, but they have nothing to do with each other. So I'm going to combine these circles together. So come up to Curves, click on Combine. And now, just like a piece of, uh, like an O or an E, I now have this hole that's generated because I have this overlapping section in two combined curves which creates a whole section. As you can see, you can see through this, this whole section. And that's how letters work as well. This is just one combined curve here and it's the inside of the E showing as a whole because of the way the, uh, the curve structure works. Okay. So I might want to remove this section here of the overlapping curves here. If I note edit this, you'll see that as I note edit it, this curve here, although these are combined, moves independently of the other one. The actual nodes are in a sense independent even though they're a combined curve. So to remove or to be able to access this part of the curve, what I need to do is come up to this button up here and click on Weld Self-Intersecting Curve and now you'll see that this curve in the inside here is now a separate piece or a separate curve section. Even though this is all combined together I can now move this off and if I go into Object Mode and move it away you can see it's still a hole and this is still, if I resize it, it's still a part of the, of the same curve and it's still all combined together but I can now note edit this as a separate piece as you can see. So that's how we weld out or remove the relationship of internal sections with the external part of a curve. Okay, so what I'll now do is show you how I would actually remove this section from this section because at the moment if I move this off as you can see it's still a part of it. So I come to this button here and click on Delete Contour or Extract Contour and I go into Object Mode and you can see now that these two are completely separate to each other in a wireframe mode, they have nothing to do with each other. They're unrelated now. So that's how we extract the contour from that contour, or extract a contour, one contour from another. Now I've just undone that to bring it back to the way it was. So that's now back to a, um, to a combined part of this curve. Now I can delete this out, this, this internal curve, by clicking on this button here. I just need to have it selected in node mode, as you can see, I've got it selected in Node Edit Mode and I click Delete Contour, go back to Wireframe and as you can see it's completely removed it. That internal part is now deleted. So that's how we do that part of the operation. So we can uh, weld out ex internal curves, we can extract those internal curves and we can delete them. That's one way of doing that. So that's that part of that lesson. Now we'll go to page three here. I'll show you some more of these tools. I'm in Node Edit Mode and I've selected this, the Future Bird Curves here as you can see. And uh, I'll just put that in wireframe mode just so we can clearly see the, the curve outline. And here's exactly the same thing. I mean I can click on this, this curve in here and I can click on Delete and I can remove it. So it's the same, exactly the same thing as what we just we were just looking at. Now going along these curves here, these tools here, I've got this knife tool here and I'll show you how to use the knife tool. Click on that and if I want to say uh, remove the bottom part of this bird here I can click left click once 
and you can see that how the knife cursor comes out and I can left click again and you can see that it's split it off in these two sections here but this remains as a combined curve so what I have to do is select it in object mode come up to curves and go break apart click off it and then I can select this part and you can see it severed it or cut it out okay so in a sense I've actually sliced it through that section there so we'll just undo that so it's now back to what it was the single the single curve again okay now what we can also do is we can just remove entire sections so let's say I just want to, I want to remove this entire wing section here and click on the knife tool this time I'll hold the mouse down so I'll start where I want to go and I'll hold the mouse down and I'll select the area that I want to uh, to cut off and do that and it selected that whole wing and removed it now of course this part of the curve is a separate part of the curve there um, and if I wanted to remove that I could simply just use this tool here so I could I could go back into node edit mode by clicking this button here and I could delete that out as so and I've now completely removed that wing section as you can see and that remains as an open curve so that's how the knife tool works like that I've also got the eraser tool so if I come over to here and click on this flyout I go to eraser click on that I get this circle shape here and I can actually just erase out that wing like that okay and there it is it's gone so that's how you can rub out sections of the curve and it just keeps it as a closed curve there like that as you can see okay so I can undo that so I'm back to where I was I can also add by right clicking on this tool so if I right whoops if I right click on this tool and move it around like this I can actually add to the shape as so so left click to erase and right click to add as you can see so this that's the eraser tool so let's add back and erase Okay, another thing I can do with this curve, there's some more of these curve tools we've got here, I'll go back to node edit mode, I've got some more of these tools here, I can reduce nodes, I can reduce them by section, or I can reduce them as a whole. Now you often want to do that because you'll get a shape like this, I'll just zoom into here, if I click on here you can see all these nodes we've got here. Now these nodes aren't actually adding to the, uh, to the shape, they're just additional nodes that really don't do anything. This often happens with artwork you import. You'll bring in some artwork and you'll have all these additional nodes that don't add or don't, don't um, help the actual shape of the curve in any way. They're just additional nodes that are basically um, an artifact of the way the importing routine has worked or the way the, uh, the object was originally created. However it's happened, you've ended up with far too many nodes. So what we can do, I'll zoom out a little bit like this, and we can just click reduce nodes, this button up here. We've got some, uh, some additional tools here which are explained in the manual, but essentially if I click reduce nodes here and click back on this shape, you can see now we've gone from literally hundreds of those nodes to very, very few. The minimum amount of nodes we need to, to retain the shape we had. The program automatically does that for you. So I click on undo, and you can see how we had all these nodes here, as so. And by clicking on one button, reduce nodes up here, Go back to node edit mode to show you, you can see how it's removed a copious amount of nodes that we just didn't need and yet we still have the same shape. So reduce nodes is a very powerful tool and it's a way of uh, cleaning up your artwork with a click of one button. The advantage of that of course is that when you go to cut this out the plotter isn't you know, trying to cut all these additional extra sections, it just can do this in these large sweeps. So that's reduced nodes as a whole. I'll just go to undo. So you can still see all these nodes that we've got. We can go to uh, reduce node by section. Now this is a powerful tool as well because what we can do is we can focus in on certain sections. You can see how the cursor changes like that. And it goes to the spot I want to go and it can reduce all those nodes in one click like that. Or I can just do it in smaller sections like this. So it retains the shape. So I would come here and I'll reduce the nodes there and if I go to node edit mode, I'll just cancel out of that now, back in node edit mode, you can see that it's reduced down to very few nodes and it's retained that shape. 
So by reducing by section, you can also go to any particular part of the shape that has too many nodes and clean it up in any particular part. And that often happens as well. You might actually find that a shape has uh, far too many nodes in one section and it's OK in another. So you can use that Replace Nodes by Section tool. OK, so that's a general rundown of those tools. It's important that you know that they're also available from the Curve tools up here, or the Curve menu. So we have like the Extracted and the Delete section here. Uh, we have some node editing tools such as the knife, knife tool here, and we've got a shortcut for it, the Array section, etc, etc. So all these tools are available from the menus and along the second row when you're in Node Edit mode, and you have the Flyout here. So Knife tool and Arrays are also available from the Node Flyout tool. And that's how the Curve Editing tools work, and that's the end of this lesson.